At the end of 2023, Russian oil revenues fell to their lowest level in six months. The fall in prices could not compensate even for the increase in supplies abroad, the International Energy Agency reported. For the Russian budget, revenues from oil production and exports are key, especially in the context of the war against Ukraine and the need to maintain social spending before the so-called presidential elections in March. Therefore, the Kremlin is trying to circumvent the sanctions imposed on the oil industry by any means possible. Ukraine's Western partners, in turn, are doing everything possible to prevent this. Alongside our price cap coalition partners across the G7, European Union and Australia, we are steadfast in our commitment to hinder innovation that helps Russia fund its illegal war against Ukraine. Matthew Miller, spokesman for the U.S. Department of State, from a statement on the department's website. The U.S. Treasury Department imposed sanctions on 17 dry cargo ships and oil tankers flying the Liberian flag. They transported Russian oil in violation of the estimated price ceiling. A shipping company from the United Arab Emirates also fell under the sanctions. According to U.S. Treasury Department's Office of Foreign Assets Control, the company that owns the vessels is the subject to the restrictions. Today's actions once again demonstrate that anyone who violates the price cap will face the consequences. No one should doubt our coalition's commitment to stopping those who help the Kremlin. Wally Adeyema, United States Deputy Secretary of the Treasury, from a statement on the department's website. China in India, where Russia redirected about 90% of its exports after the restrictions were imposed, did not join the Western country's decision. Supplies of crude oil from Russia to China in 2023 amounted to more than 107 million tons, Reuters reported, citing Chinese customs data. This is a record volume of fuel shipment in the history of relations between China and Russian Federation, and it is much larger than oil exports to China from Saudi Arabia and Iraq. While you Ukraine's Western allies continue to look for ways to limit Russian exports. Oil deports are burning in Russia itself. On the night of January 21st, in the port of Usluga near St. Petersburg, a fire broke out at an oil terminal. The Usluga complex processes gas condensate into crude oil, jet fuel and gas oil, with petroleum products shipped from there to foreign markets. In 2022, the facility processed almost 7 million tons of gas condensate. Now the operation of the terminal had to be stopped. An oil terminal in the Leningrad region is an important facility for the enemy. Fuel is refined there, which, among other things, is supplied to Russian troops. A successful attack on such a terminal not only causes economic damage to the enemy, depriving the occupiers of the opportunity to earn money for the war in Ukraine, but also significantly complicates the logistics of fuel for the Russian military. From Interfax Ukraine News Agency. On January 19, 2024, four fuel tankers with a total weight of more than 3,000 tons burned down in the town of Klintsi in the Bransk region. The fire was extinguished for two days, and in the last five days there were three fires at oil and gas facilities in Russia. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Natalia Husak, Volodymyr Stanhelov, UATV News.